Hello and welcome to Nick Caputo Art, where I share my art process with the hopes of teaching and inspiring you in the same way that so many others have done so for me here in YouTube. Um, today I'm painting a Christmas bow, a holiday bow, a gift bow. Uh, this was part of um, some sort of art challenge that I saw on Instagram. I don't quite remember the details. I, I wanted to enter that because I thought painting a bow was kind of interesting and difficult in its own way. Uh, but then I lost the information, so I, I actually have no idea where that goes. But hopefully, whoever put the challenge out there sees this and, and things is, is neat, like I do. Um, I thought it was a festive uh, type of painting, so I wanted to give it a try, and it also allowed me to push, you know, the colors. Again, trying to go through my journey here with gouache and trying to figure out how many different colors and how far um, I can push these colors. And overall, I thought it was, it was a great experience. Another interesting thing with this painting, I, as I said in my previous video, I am through and through a filbert brush kind of guy. I have always painted with filberts and not that many size variations or anything. I always thought that they were versatile enough. But I'm finding that with gouache, I couldn't get some straight lines and some things like that. So I decided to buy myself some flat brushes. I thought, uh, you know, kind of give them a try. And I'm really, really happy with, with the way flat brushes kind of work. So this painting is all done with two flat brushes one really really big one and one somewhat small so yeah I again I think this process with the with the bow something again that I've never painted before I like to paint things that are that are shiny when I painted the the Warhammer Astartes when I painted the airplane but I don't get to paint a lot of shiny stuff so this was really cool to paint this bow and, and get all the highlights the catch lights and all that cool stuff and also again test these brushes see how um, how they work and everything else and again I'm, I'm really really happy with how straight I can get get them all going and, and everything else um, yeah here you see the how I work my way through the painting from dark to light again something else that I do in oil that I really like to do but neither with oil or gouache you need to do that uh, gouache is very forgiving in that way because it dries very quick in oil you have to do that because if you put white or lighter colors underneath they will make everything uh, muddy so this I'm, I'm working from the darkest kind of color I, I needed all the way to the lightest one and you can see how the the both starting to to take shape um, another cool thing I'm enjoying with gouache is that you know I can plow through a painting pretty quick you don't have to wait for you know, layers to dry and everything else um, as I do with oil so this is pretty cool another cool thing I got for myself with this painting is a wet palette to, just to try to keep those paintings from drying too quick and boy that was the one thing that kind of clicked for me I, I was never gonna be able to mix all these colors without without that so if anybody wants a good takeaway from this is you know get yourself some flat brushes and a wet palette uh, if you're if you're trying to use gouache or acrylics or anything like that very very cool indeed um, here I'm painting the inside of the bows and everything else and again trying to play with with the colors and trying to see just how many different variations of those colors there are on this bow and uh, I was amazed to see just how many and you know how many um, earthy colors and pinks and, and all that stuff not not a lot of red in there even though it looks like there's a lot of red the best part here for me is with the with the flat brush you can see how great they work for making lines um, this again is something I could never have done in with a filter I tried to do it with a house painting I did and I just couldn't do it so Overall, it was a very enjoyable process.
but yeah, coming to the end of the painting, I thought overall I'm happy with the way it turned out, but I'm curious to hear what you think. So please leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe. And thank you again for watching. And until the next one, happy holidays, everyone.